Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today Sunday for another CAD tutorial. Today I'm going to be using vellum. I'm going to just be showing you an idea that you could use to add vellum to add a little bit of texture or softness to your design. The first thing I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going ahead and add a little color to the background just the front of this 110 pound white cardstock which I normally use. I will be using my briar along with um, inks from uh, well Tim Holtz. I do have Distress um, inks and Distress Oxide inks. So um, without further ado I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will use the, I kind of like the Distress ink because it's a lot more um, vibrant to me. The Distress Oxide ink I love it as well but it has a different you know uh, it's just different. It's more of a creamier texture. So right now I'm just going to be applying some of this ink here. This is the Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink. And I'm going to be adding next Candid Apple as is in the center. And then I'm going to be using the last one, which is Lucky Clover, on the end. I'm going to now use some spritz, just spritz some water on there. And I will, I'm trying this for the first time, guys, so don't, you know, don't even mind me. So I'm going to be utilizing this just to get some ink onto the front of the card base. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to have this turned sideways and I'm going to just run across the paper. And this is a briar. Um, I, I had to learn about what a briar was later in the day so I'm going to get some more ink. And I'm not doing it in any fancy way. I'm just getting some more ink so I can get some on here. Okay, then now that I have done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the Distress Oxide ink. And of course, you know, you can, you might get some, you know, little dash of ink in here. So I'm going to use the oxide ink right now. And I am going to add just little areas of different colors. So I'll just do this one here, just a little green. And I will spray. And just be careful when using white, you're going to have, you might end up having, you know, some spots here and there if you're not careful. So I'm just getting a little green into the mix. Okay, so that's the green. Now if you have a heating tool you can use it to dry it up quicker but that's fine what I'll do is I'll just dab up some of it right now and then I'm going to go to a next color which is the festive berries I'm going to also add a little bit of festive berries in there because I'm layering the colors I'm going to do the same thing, just dab it in, just anywhere, anyhow, no particular way to do it. Okay, so we have a little more color in here. I'll get on the ends as well. Okay, so this again is just... I'm just adding some color, but I will be removing this part anyway because I will be creating a window from this. So this is out, and the final thing I'll the one I'll be using is the Mermaid Lagoon in Distress Oxide ink, and I will just kind of you know get a little bit on here. 
I'm going to spray again, just a little spray. And then I'm going to do the last one. Just dab it in, get a little blue. Oopsie. Guess my hand got in there. Just took out a little blue because I don't want to. Just a little sp splash here and there. Okay, so I have the the cardstock color. Now you know when you're doing it, you can get a little color in here. So just be careful. But that's just the idea. So I'm going to remove this uh this colors and I am now going to go ahead. Should be able to get it the cut through. But I am going to at this time because I'm going to use a piece of vellum, I'm going to get the vellum colored. Now I just want a little light color. Well a little bit of color on the vellum. So I will say I'm going to just maybe use the, the light shade of blue on there and that would be the Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm going to start from the paper and just kind of go through. Now if you notice the the like the blocking you know from I guess the size of this it's it's just you know, doing its thing, but don't worry about it. This is just a, you know, very nice and simple way to just get everything on here. And this video might be a little lengthy. Sorry, guys, just hang in there with me until we get to the end. But I do want you to see a little option that I am just excited to share with you guys. So I'm going to shift, uh, put this aside. If you see, the vellum just has a nice um, light blue to it. And that's perfectly fine. While that is placed on the side, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and get that window done. That window will be done with a an A2 card die cut, which is this one. So let me get that cut and I shall be right back, guys. Bear with me a moment. Okay, guys, I am back. So you can see I have put the window in here. And this is the portion that I took out. That can be used for another card front. And that is perfectly fine. But for now, I'm going to set this piece aside. And we're going to work with this part. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and add here the, the vellum to this side. Now, vellum in itself, um, depending on what you're using, it you know it can show. Yes, it can. So it just depends on what you're doing. I don't want you to think you cannot play around with the vellum. I'm just going to sp spread some glue on here. And then I will just kind of take my hand, you know, and just kind of smooth it through so it doesn't look like a lumpy old mess. But you can always experiment with vellum as well. Vellum can be used to make, you know, like add a little soft texture to your work. Um, you know, like if you're doing flowers or, um, you know, anything really you're doing, you know, I, I, I like vellum for that reason. So that is an option you can look into. So hopefully this will be okay. Now vellum is so funny, you know, I was, I use, I put the, um, the vellum, uh, the coloring on one side and it's so hard to see where it is because of the, because vellum, you know, is, it is what it is, to be honest. Okay. Now um, I went ahead and put this on the back, on the on the front, but so far you can see you have a window. Now you have a choice uh, because you can create another piece and put uh, on top of this on the inner side here um, because it looks like my glue got a little over, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of try and wipe off some of the glue for now so I can show you. Um, and I can also show you um, a couple of cards I have done with the vellum. 
you know, just experimenting pretty much. But at some point, I may end up putting, you know, something, you know, backing this up with another piece, you know, just another window type so it can, you know, look a little better. But this is the part where we're going to go ahead and get this folded. Okay, I've already scored that piece. So I'm just going to get it folded down. And just to make sure that it is actually sitting as it should. Just trying to get it to just fit and sit properly. And it has nothing to do with the vellum. It's just that um, since I was playing up with the whole thing, it kind of got mad at me. So, okay. So there we go. Let's flip that over and we can do this. Okay. So you see you have a nice window. You can either open your card this way or you can flip it up this way. It's entirely up to you. But this is just a short tutorial just to show you how you could use or, you know, make a window um, with the vellum. Now, whatever decorations you have, you may, you may just put it on the sides. And, and let me show you what I was referring to earlier. Because these were two cards I was working on. They didn't come out exactly how I had hoped, but close enough. This one would have been a similar option, you know, window. Um, and of course, these are flowers that I had already cut out. If you notice, those are little vellum flowers and um, that I had used from, you know, the extra vellum that was left from doing this card. And this one just has one window. And this is the backing I'm talking about. You know, putting another piece of... Um, cardstock behind it but with a window so you know if the card is closed you have a sentiment in here it can be seen or anything you know you want to be seen and just you know really nice so this one is just a happy birthday um, again you know you can use vellum to make flowers you know just anything you want to add a little softness to your work this one I tried doing the double window one in the front, one in the back. This one gave me a bigger challenge because, again, it's the first time I'm doing it. But, you know, hopefully, maybe you guys can try it out and see if it can work. But it got a little, you know, um, what's the word? A little bunched up uh, different places, you know, when I was trying to fold it up. So, I guess it's something I have to work on. But I do like the double window. Um, just to have something different. And these, of course, are the flowers that I mentioned um, that can be utilized. So with that, I hope that this can give you an idea of what you can do in order to just have do something a little different with your card by adding a window with, ve with vellum. And um, pretty much that's it. So add your decorations, whatever you want to put here. Um, if you just want to put flowers, um, you, you decide. It's entirely up to you. But this is a neat little idea using vellum. Next week, I will show you other ways that um, you can, you know, add, you know, color or um, heat embossing or just regular embossing to your vellum cards. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week.